this is Joe Delio from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a video tutorial. In today's video tutorial I will be showing you part one on how to use the latest version of the application command center known as the ACC for PanOS version 7.0. The ACC has been redesigned and is dramatically different from earlier versions with many new features. We'll start off with the new areas and what's different about the new ACC from previous versions. Located in the same area on the second tab inside the web GUI, you'll first notice the new look of the ACC. When you compare it against the previous versions, you'll see that the entire layout has been changed so that it uses much more of the screen area with a lot more data being displayed. Now let's examine different parts of the screen here that are different. Right off the bat at the very top you have an option to export this current view as a PDF which is quite nice. Below you've got the network activity, you have a threat activity, blocked activity, and you can actually create a whole new view right here with the plus. Off to the right you'll have an option for an auto refresh, manual refresh, help, and then the risco meter there. On the left hand side you're going to see time option for the drop down. The same options that were before for all the amount of time, 15 minutes all the way up to a month or custom time period. The global filters will be directly below that to affect all the graphics that you see on the screen here. And then you even have an option to minimize this if you want to get more of the area, but you can always review it by hitting this little very hard to see little arrow to hide that part of the screen. Underneath this network activity tab you're going to see that you have application usage, user activity, source IP, destination IP, source regions, destination regions, global protect host information, and rule usage display graphs by default. You can change those out but this is the default view. The really nice thing about the new version of the ACC here is the ability to customize pretty much everything you see. You'll see this little pencil icon or edit icon that you can click on and it gives you the edit custom tab window that allows you to reorganize anything that you see here. Where you see the default widgets that are going to be displayed here. You can add a new widget group which actually creates a whole new section here and then you can add a widget to it which again you saw the first options that we have and we have so many more for the interfaces, the zones, the domain information, wildfire, rules, more rule information, blocked user activity, threats, etc. No matter what you do here in this whole workspace here, if you end up changing any of the views and you do not like it, you always have the ability to reset the view. And as always, you can add, remove, you have options for one or two columns for the data here, and you can completely customize it to suit your needs. Now inside the application usage, you have many other options inside of here. You can maximize this view. You can set local filters that just affect this one window here. You can jump to the logs directly through here or you can just export the data here. You can see by bytes, sessions, threats, contents, URLs. The default view is going to be this tree map. You can change it to the line graph if you want, which makes it look kind of like the user activity off here to the right. Everything is completely interactive. You can see the amount of traffic that's happening with the application categories. You can click on them above, you can click on them below. You even have an option to add this information to a global filter or you can hit it right here an option to global find or to view specific information about this application. You've got user activity and you have similar options here. Bytes, sessions, threats, contents, URLs and you only have an option for a line graph on that. Every single section has the exact same options to maximize the view, to go full screen, to get more data on this, jump to logs, filters, export, etc. Source IP activity, destination IP activity, again, they're all very interactive, 
showing a lot of different information here. Going to the source regions, you have an option to show the world map, which you can then click on different areas of the map. You can zoom in to certain areas or go back to full screen. You can change it to a line bar for the different regions. Makes it handy. I don't have any information on global protect, but you can see here in the rule usage, you can see the rule names and how much it's being used, which can come in very handy when trying to determine what rules are being used more than others. That concludes this video tutorial on how to use the Application Command Center for PanOS 7.0 Part 1. The next video tutorial will be Part 2 of the series, which covers much more detail on the Threat Activity tab and how to drill down and to get more information. We hope you enjoyed this video. We welcome all feedback below, so please don't be shy. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to new videos coming soon.